But, uh, but anyway, today we're so fortunate to have a distinguished group of people here with us. We've uh, got uh, Haji Karil, uh, bin Haji Awang, from uh, the Ministry of Education. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Dr. Dina, Catherine, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first and foremost, on behalf of the Malaysian government, for the first time, us to come to come to Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia. Okay, land of peace, and uh, I'm more feeling uh, secured, uh, like Mark say, uh, being among of lovers of peace. Before I proceed with the presentation, how long do I have, Mark? Fifteen minutes. Okay. Plus or minus. <laughs> I'll take the minus. Minus? Okay. <laughs> uh, before I proceed, uh, this is a preamble uh, for, from the newspaper today. Something about Nelson Mandela, 1918-2013. Uh, what it says that, I hate race discrimination most intensely and in, it, and in all its manifestations. I fought it all through. Uh, I fought it all during my life. I fight it now, and will do so until the end of my days. That's what he said, and that's what he does. A little bit about the, the uh, Mahatma Gandhi. <coughs> Seven dangers of human virtue: wealth without work. You get wealth without working. Pleasure without conscience, knowledge without character, business without ethics, science without humanity, religion without sacrifice, politics without principle, and uh, one of our distinguished guests from our seminar recently he added another one, education without heart or soul. I then proceed to uh, what our most honourable Prime Minister, Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak, said about peace. What he said is that <clears throat> among the most important challenges confronting the international community today needs to be addressed collectively, addressed collectively, is the challenge of ensuring a just, equitable and durable peace. Malaysians are hardwired in respect, tolerance and appreciation to create unity in diversity or the one Malaysia concept. And this is what our most honourable Prime Minister said about peace. And uh, I would really like to relate what uh, all the icons said with respect to what we do to our Malaysian education blueprint. Uh, recently, for your information, we have got, uh, we have undergo uh, the transformation of our education blueprint 2013, 2014, 15, 2025, sorry. And I would like to share with you all. Uh, with regards to the, the topics of today, uh, the topics of today, teachers and principal professional leadership development for character and creativity. creativity. I come from one. Uh, I come from. I'm, I'm the director of the institute. I'm the Baki. Uh, this institute uh, deals with uh, giving uh, courses uh, for the leadership administration to our education officers. So uh, I start off with saying that this blueprint uh, comes from various dialogues and memorandums. If you look at the the slide there. From 124 memorandums, 20 roundtables, 16 town halls, 14 states, we go to 14 states all over Malaysia, five student forums, 7,035, 39 recommendations from 11,800 principles, and so forth, so forth. What I mean to say, what I'm trying to say is that this blueprint is the one of the public. It's no, it doesn't come up from one particular political figures. It comes up from the public. This is the heart, the ones of the public. So, transforming the Malaysian education system 2013 to 2013 to 2025, out of uh, after vigorous uh, the vigorous talk and uh, roundtable and so forth, we've uh, focused on five system aspiration, six student aspiration, eleven shifts and 100 initiatives. Well, I mean to say that uh, all this will be staggered into 
three with with one 2013 to 2015, with two 2016 to 2020, and with three 2021 to 2025. So all these uh, 100 initiatives we, uh, we have uh, assigned a certain division to take up of the initiatives and every division has got their, their three fit plan to implement all the initiatives. With regards to the asp uh, system aspiration, we have got five system aspiration, namely access, quality, equity, unity and efficiency, but I'll be more focused on the equity and unity with regards to the topics given to me. When you talk about equity and unity, Mark, can you please uh, can you please uh, uh, signal me when you want me to stop? Please, Mark. Oh, please. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> when we talk about unity, equity, and unity, uh, this implies that uh, if there's okay. unity, tolerance, and total acceptance among the different races and religious followers, then this could facilitate the implementation of the community development agenda for the common good, while the absence would lead to chaos. What do I mean to say? For your information, we in Malaysia have got multi-ethnic, multi-religion, and as you mark, see, uh, mark testimony, uh, tes uh, tes uh, testimony just now, he find that the, the Malaysian, uh, uh, the public there are so very, what, should I, what did you say just now, Mark? very friendly yes. yeah and as i told too friendly okay <laughs> and that is good and you feel that uh, you feel secured when you're out there do you feel that that is the embracement of all the acceptance of the different uh, different cultures and religion that is what we are going now and uh, from this uh, the next slide uh, is the uh, 11 shifts. In achieving the, uh, our aspirations, uh, we require 11 shifts, uh, namely as, as, as stated there, but I'm going to focus on two. The shift number three, that is develop values driven Malaysian, as what Mark said just now. We try to develop the values driven Malaysian and next one is uh, to uh, shift five is ensure high performing school leaders in every school. For your information, I believe you agree with me. Whatever you do, whatever we do, any transformation we do, it is of no, what should I say, it's no use if there's nothing happening in the class. If there's no learning in the class, why should I, why I say if there's no learning in the class, then transformation is, 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 uh, is a failure. With that, we concentrate on two. One is on the teacher, the other one is on the leadership. Uh, those are two important components, important components that in this transformation field that we got to focus in order <laughs> to make this transformation a success in order to make something is happening in the class. We are not talking of education for all anymore. We are now talking about learning for all. Uh, so if, uh, if I may uh, in future, being, uh, being, uh, if I may in future, being called to deliver in depth of this uh, transformation program, I'll do so. But uh, be free to serve our Malaysian education net because it is being uploaded there. So if you want to know more of our education transformation program, then please do so. So shift three, to develop value-driven Malaysians. Why we need it? Why is it needed? Because we know that today's student will inherit a world fraught with challenges from environment degradation to armed conflict on a scale that has never seen before. And we look about, we talk about uh, globalization, we talk about liberalization, we talk all sorts of changes, it comes to four terms. The volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. And those are the changes that need some thorough understanding and good decision making so that the future generation will still be in peace. Successfully navigating these issues will not only require students to have leadership skills, but strong universal values 
strong universal values. I'm facing and emphasizing on strong universal values such as integrity, compassion, justice, and altruism to guide them in making ethical decision. And at the same time, it is important to balance the development of global citizenship with a strong national identity. That is what the, 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 the transformation of a blueprint uh, is all about. Even though we cater for the needs of the world, we still, still maintain our national identity. What will success look like? In the, in the end, by the end of 2025, through the 11 shifts, three waves, and 100 initiatives, what we hope for this shift tree to look like is that every student leaves school as a global citizen. Imbued with core universal values and strong nation identity, the values they have learned are applied in their day-to-day -day lives, leading to more civic behavior, such as an increase in volunteerism, a willingness to embrace peoples of other nationalities, religion and ethnicities, and a reduction in corruption and crime. Every student also leaves schools prepared to act as leaders, whether in their own lives and families, or as part of a broader community and nation. That is the vision that we have in the transformation of our education system through the blueprint. And uh, we have got identified three initiatives, enhancement of three initiatives with respect to achieving these uh, objectives of shift three. One is to enhance Islamic and moral education with greater focus on unity and fostering stronger bonds among students. As you're aware, that Malaysia, as I said just now, uh, multi, uh, multilingual, multi-ethnic, multi-religion, and all this got to be buying at the early age so that the acceptance, not only acceptance, but embracement of the difference can be, can be fostered at early age. And I believe that uh, uh, I am the testimony of the previous, uh, previous uh, education system, whereby I study with uh, peoples from all sorts of life, Chinese, Indian, Malays, and others, and to the extent that informally, I learned Chinese from them. Okay, I learned Chinese, not to going for, 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 for courses or what, but through the understanding, through the, the interaction, I learned Chinese from them. Secondly, is to develop, uh, to develop a student holistically by reinforcing the requirement for every student to, to participate in one sport, one club, and one uniform body. Every school, every school, every student got have to participate in one sport, one club, and one uniform body. So with that, we feel that we are sure that we are sure that they will group together, the different race group together, and interact together, and hopefully, inshallah, the uh, the uh, the the, uh, the understanding of different races and it will be much more better. And enhance uh, the third one is to enhance the uh, and scale up remote uh, from 216 to facilitate interaction across school types. REMOP is Rancangan Integrasi Untuk Perpaduan Murid. That is the short form of REMOP, meaning that we have got program, and this program, we call all the students from different race and ethnics to be together, okay? And uh, as you know, we've got many schools. We've got Chinese school, Tamil school, Malay school, and other, other school, private school and international school. So with this program, we hope that what we uh, we hope that the integration of the different uh, different different uh, ethnics can be achieved. Shift five. Shift five is uh, something to do very close to us in IAB Institute of Nibaki. We are say that Institute of Nibaki is the institution to train personnel from Ministry of Education, specifically the principal and headmasters. And we do carry out a lot of CPDs, uh, even the district the, the differentiated CPD. Differentiated CPD meaning that uh, from the appraisal, we categorize the, 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 uh, the, the performance of the principal and head teachers, and each performance needs different, different sort of models for improvement. We give that so that we'll move to another, another level. So what IB is doing now is that we try to create, through the shift five, we try to create high-performing principal. Okay, we create high-performing principal relentless in his or her focus on improving student outcomes, both academic and non-academic. 
uh, I, I still remember what uh, Howard Gardner say: the five minds of the future. The five minds of the future are the one is the disciplined mind, the synthesizing mind, the creative mind, the ethical mind, and the respectful mind. The three, the first three are tangible, you can measure, but the third and the fourth, the third, the, the third, uh, the fourth and the fifth are intangible. In this, in this shift, in this transformation, we do look, we do look on the tangible and intangible, intangible aspect. If we look at, uh, we look at uh, the world is moving now from previously from agricultural society to industrial to knowledge intensive human capital. Now it's more of human engagement, community engagement, which need the marketability of the human resource will be more of integrity. Uh, this is something to do with the intangible, intangible uh, uh, aspect that is too big inculcate to our student. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what uh, IAB is doing. This is what uh, IAB is doing. I would like to emphasize on the, on the ASEAN, CMO, ASEAN, G15, ISESCO, UNESCO, IAP, MTCP, and TRAP. IAB is not, not only uh, uh, focusing on the locals, but also we give training to foreign countries. Recently, we had the MTCP, Malaysian Technical Joint Program, Cooperation Program, which involves the South South country, uh, plus we call uh, the uh, from from uh, Bosnia Herzegovina, from uh, Tunisia, from uh, where else? Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and so forth. But what I receive, what we receive, uh, uh, Mr. Jurak and Dr. Dr. Yusuf, that what we receive, the response is that Malaysia. IAB has given them knowledge about loving people, meaning that our, our module not only teach them how to be better leaders and administrators, but also we give them these feelings of, feelings of brotherhoodness. Uh, that is what we, we got the response from the emails. And ladies and gentlemen, the next slide is just to show you all the, what IAB is doing, uh, what IAB is doing. And I feel that I should stop here, giving more time, ample time to, uh, to our, our next, uh, next guest. It's just that what I'm trying to do now is that I've explained to you that we in the transformation of education, of system, do look into the perspective, uh, perspective of global peace. In line with what uh, the most honorable uh, Prime Minister has already said, and in line to the needs of the world. And we pray uh, with this uh, blueprint and the engagement and the proper execution, plan execution, we do believe that we achieve our objective. Thank you very much. Wow. Almost makes me want to move to Malaysia. <laughs> this is wonderful and exciting.